Cabbage Beach vendors who were denied access to the beach on Paradise Island were granted an injunction by Justice Bernard Turner today, restraining Atlantis from blocking access to Cabbage Beach. This means the vendors can continue conducting business there. The, vend the vendors were granted an earlier injunction back on December 30th, but when they reported to work on January 1st, they found that the gates to the beach had been locked. Meantime, the piece of property which provides access to Cabbage Beach including the right of access, have been sold to Access Industries Bahamas International. One of the lawyers for the Cabbage Beach Vendors Association, Halson Moultrie, spoke with reporters outside of court. What's very important about the decision today is that uh, the letter of the 29th of December 2015, um, which indicated that there is... Um, a willingness on the part of the new owner to extend the deadline for 60 days, which in effect was a self-imposed injunction yeah. by the new owner. And so we are happy that that was the basis upon which the judge made his decision. Now the court has adjourned the matter to January 19th for further submissions. Lead attorney for the Cabbage Beach Association, Obi Ferguson, noted that negotiations will now take place with the owners of Access Industries Bahamas International, who have agreed to grant access to the property for 60 days. As to what happens when the 60 days expire, Ferguson had this to say. Yeah. We're hoping that uh, Mr. Bushcom, who seemed to be the negotiator who signed the document with the company we're going to work with him to obviate the need to come back to the court because the idea is all we concerned that the workers are to have access so that they can earn a living that is the motion that is the motive that we are pursuing 